What's up, Xavier Architects? Okay, some guys are now looking to redesign New York City, and that is going to be fun. But first, we need to be able to scale our CAD version of the street we're going to redesign. And we want to do that in, uh, you know, in Rhino here so that we have the actual size of the street that we're remodeling. So I've got uh, Amato Charles is doing 31st Street, so I, I've got his uh, his dock open right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a feature that you can use in Google Maps. So if I go to uh, Google Maps and I type in, oh, 31st Street, NYC, boom, it brings me to the general vicinity. Here we are. There's MSG, and here's 31st Street. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to figure out how how long this street actually is. How much room do I have to work with here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here, and right at the corner of this building here, I'm going to right-click and choose... Sorry, I did this before, so... Right-click, measure distance, and it parks a little dot there. And now I'm going to go to the end of the block. And remember, the end of the block is where the buildings stop. Okay, because this is sidewalks and streets and everything else in here. So we want to really measure to the end of the street. So I'm just going to click here. And boom, if I scroll in there, it shows 801.61 feet. I'm just going to round that off to 800 feet and assume that because I wasn't close enough and my little measurement was, you know, this should be a round number. It should not be some de crazy decimal, okay? So we're just going to go with 800 feet, all right? Now, you're going to do that with whatever block it is that you've chosen on the map, right? You're going to create this, right-click, right? Cre uh, measure distance, and then at the other end, you zoom in and you park the other one and you get your measurement here. All right, so that's going to help us to scale the map. So I got 800 feet. Now I jump back into Rhino, and I'm going to click on layer one here. This is a red layer. I, I need to make a reference line to be able to size this, resize this, because this is not 800 feet right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a polyline, and I'm going to start at the end of this building here. And I'm going to go in this direction, 800. And if I zoom out, you'll see that's all the way out here. Click. Okay. So that's 800. Enter. I've got an 800-foot line now. So I'm just going to move that down here. Okay. And... What I want to do, well, actually, I'll leave it right where it is. I'll leave it right where it is. Well, no, I'm going to move it down here just so I can, it's easier to select this thing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to scale. So I'm going to use the scale command. And it says base point. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't want this highlighted when I go into scale. I want nothing highlighted. So I'm going to type in scale. And select objects to scale. I'm going to click and drag a box around all of my buildings. I want to scale all of that. And press enter when done. And now it's looking for a base point. And my base point is going to be right here. And then it wants a second reference point. And I want that to be lined up with the end of my buildings. I click there. And then it wants the final reference point. And you'll see as I continue to drag out to the end of the line here, it scales my map. And now I have an 800-foot block. Okay? So once again, um, I use the scale command. Oh, I spelled it wrong. That would help if I spelled it right. There it is. Scale. Select objects to scale. I'm going to click and drag around my objects and press enter. 
First reference point is the end of the first point of the line. Second reference point is even with the size of the building that I want to match. Right? This is the length that is representative of what I'm ultimately trying to get. Click there and then go to the end of the line and click. And you've got your 800 foot block. Okay? Control S to save and you're ready to start designing and attacking the block. Good job.